following presentation will look at the introduction of a screening pilot which we, we are going to carry out in RGMS. This pilot will look at saturation monitoring of babies in the 4 to 12 hour period of life. This is a screening process for congenital heart defects. This presentation will look at the flow chart for, this, for the introduction of this programme and also at the clinical skills that are required. I'm going to take you through the flow diagram now. Okay, now we're going to look at the flow pathway. So for asymptomatic newborns not on the neonatal unit, please check the oximetry between 4 and 12 hours of age. We're looking at the pre and postductal measurements. On the left hand of the screen you'll look at the, at the green part of the pathway. So where both readings are equal or greater than 95 and a difference of less or equal to 2% then they follow down and this is called a negative screen and this can be, be a reassurance to parents and there's no additional action to occur. So from the yellow part of the pathway with the saturations are 90 to 94 percent or the difference is greater than 2 percent then this requires a clinical assessment by the neonatal team. If there are clinical symptoms identified then this will move on to the red part of the pathway. If there are no other symptoms identified on clinical assessment then there will be a repeat screen two hours after the initial screen. Again, if either of the readings are between 90 and 94% or there's a difference greater than 2% following the two hour period of the initial screen, then this moves on to the red part of the pathway. Okay, now on the red part of the pathway. This is seen as a positive screen. So where the readings are less than 90% or the baby is symptomatic, i.e. there are other clinical symptoms being observed, then this is seen as a positive screen. And this baby will be required admitted to the neonatal unit for um, assessment and observation and further investigations. For all asymptomatic babies, the saturation monitoring should occur between 4 and 12 hours of age and in daytime hours between 6 a.m. and 8 p.m. The 8 p.m. screening allows for a further repeat at 2 hours, i.e. 10 p.m., where um, it can be identified whether this baby needs to be admitted to the neonatal unit. I will emphasize this, this is for asymptomatic newborns, i.e. babies that are healthy and well and no other problems. This is not for babies that you would have concerns about. So now we need to know where and when to record the, these assessments. In the maternity record at the back is the infant chart and on the page where it has infant assessment at the bottom of that are infant investigations. There are two lines that are, are, are free and you would be required to put in the pre and postductal uh, readings, the date and time they were performed at and any other comments. There is a further line should you need to repeat the saturations at two hours of age. Okay. This is the monitor which should be available in the clinical area for you to obtain pre and post ductal saturations. As you can see in the left hand bottom corner there is a green sort of button for the on off. If you push that in and hold it, the monitor will automatically turn on. You've got a cable which you will use to attach to your saturation probe and that's your saturation probe which you attach to the baby's hand or foot. I'm just going to attach it to my finger, line up the two wee red lines, pop my posy wrap on obviously to not let light interfere with the reading and I'm going to keep my finger very still in order to get a reading from the monitor. Now it might take about 30 
60 seconds in order to get an accurate reading and then I should be able to get my heart rate and my saturation and as you can see there quite nicely my saturations are 98% with a heart rate of 88 and you're going to do this both on the right hand for your preductal and on any of the other limbs for your postductal. Thank you. I'm going to demonstrate to you now how to carry out a pre and post ductal saturation. Please try and ensure that the baby is comfortable and not active or crying as this will upset the reading and it may not um, give you a clear indication of what the saturations are. If you're carrying out a pre-ductal saturation, that's always carried out on the right hand or wrist. This is your saturation probe and there are usually two red dots here and you want to make sure that they line up because they are again obtaining the reading. So I'm just going to place it on this little baby on the hand. You can do it on the wrist. And if you have available a little posy wrap, that sometimes makes it easier um, and prevents light getting in. Okay. Then you're going to use the end of your saturation um, probe and attach that to your monitor and wait to get a reading. Sometimes there's a bit of a delay in time in getting your reading. Maybe hold the hand so it, there's not movement. If there's a lot of movement, that can interfere with the reading. You're going to let it, the baby settle, comfort it, if it, it takes a dummy or um, if it's breastfeeding that's fine as well and um, let it settle until you attain your reading. This is your pre-ductal reading, once you've um, obtained that then you're going to record that as your pre-ductal saturation. Okay, I'm going to remove that now. You can use the same probe and we're now going to look at a post-ductal saturation. You can use any other limb for postductal saturation. I'm just going to use the right foot, but you can use the left foot or the left hand. Again, placing it in, in situ, putting the saturation um, monitor on and a little wee posy wrap, attaching your probe up to your monitor, holding the little foot so there's not a lot of movement again so that it doesn't interrupt with the reading. Get your reading. And again, record this as your postductal saturation. I would also record it what limb that you took it on. So you would take this on the right limb for postductal and for preductal on the right hand. Okay, thank you.